The Farm, Great Hair, TMZ, playing a gay character, The Emmys, and being a legacy character on Bold and the Beautiful playing Thomas Forrester. We're talking to Pearson Frode next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. New mascots, <laughs> right now, dance off. Get down the floor. Hey. Get down the floor. We get up, get the music, hey, life, get it, we get down, uh, hey, yeah. hi you guys, it is another spotlight well, on here at After Buzz TV, and we're playing a really good song right now for Pearson, I'm your host James Lott Jr., and you can follow me everywhere in the world at James Lott Jr., it's that simple. This guy is seriously tall, first of all, when I came in I was like, wow, I'm like, I thought I was tall, and he is so good looking, it's oppressive, <laughs> totally oppressive, and super nice and really funny, right now, he is nominated for Outstanding Younger Leading Actor for an Emmy, Daytime Emmy, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Because he plays Thomas Forrester on CBS's hit drama, Daytime Drama, Bold and Beautiful, and he has a great name, Pearson Fode. Hey, what's up? The studio audience. Oh, oh, thank like you. you. Thank you, studio audience. <laughs> that wasn't recorded. <laughs> it wasn't canned or anything, it was for real. <laughs> okay. They're all over there. We oh, can't see oh, them. Oh, wow, there's so many of yeah, them. Yeah, there's so many of them. Hi. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, I was, tell I was telling uh, your girl over there that uh, uh, Trixie about... People were saying, when I mentioned your name, mm. like two weeks ago, Yeah, I didn't realize the response I was going to get. Well, really? Like, it was really overwhelming. They're like, <laughs> That's awesome. we love him! My God, what's going to be on? What's going to be on? What's gonna... I'm like, it's coming in a couple of weeks. Just, just coming... calm yourself. Uh, just stay tuned. Calm yourself. Stay tuned. Jeez. You have a very diverse fan base. How does that feel? It's great. Um, it's super fun because I have all like the millennials from different mm. groups and shows that I've worked on uh, that are super interactive on social media. And then I have... Uh, the bold and beautiful fans that yes. are like they're writing in uh, letters. They're very old school, and it's it's cool. It's cool to yeah. see the different uh, the range of people that yes. and how they communicate. Yeah, completely different. Like I'm sending memes and gifts and just <laughs> terrible <laughs> word pronunciation and like shorten you with the, just the letter U, um, and up to like going into writing handwritten letters and being very eloquent and. <laughs> Transition well. Yes, yeah, so you do. And you, well, you also you do, you've done some kid stuff. So I mean, like you have. I'm sure you have kids. You probably. I remember you from. You know, and they probably see you. Oh yeah, absolutely. All, all the time. It's either. Um, you did Jesse. Jesse. So. Yeah, yeah, that's usually the main one. That or the uh, the movie that I did with Victoria Justice, uh, No Kiss List. We talked about that also. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's always kind of a fun fun way to see people. Even uh, funny. Every time I'm on a uh, a flight, um, there's always a stewardess or a steward that's like, "You're on Bold and the Beautiful, aren't you?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> you got to just like that. You're yeah. like, yes, yes, I am. What do I get out of this? You're like, exactly. Do I get a free drink? Like, first, what's going on? First class. I did have a guy who gave me a whole <laughs> bottle of wine. That was it. Was the nicest thing he's ever done. Whole I was just like, oh. He was like, hey man, you're just super nice to talk to. I just, yeah, I have a bottle of wine. Do you want it? And I was like, yes. Oh my you god. You are the kindest person of all time. He like <laughs> snuck it over to me. I like snuck it in my jacket and just walked off the plane. Uh, someone immediately, I'm going to ask, okay, we have people and the fans are watching, so I just want to say hi to you guys, and I'm sure he loves that your eyes are on here. Yo, what's up? Um, and someone wants to know how much fun was recording the first NSFW CS CBS YouTube video? Like, let's say that five times fast. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Tongue tire. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, uh, that was so much fun. Oh my yeah, god, it's yeah. hilarious too. Like they they were super fun to work with. We we're just improving. <laughs> I think I I, I want to take some partial writing yes. credit. There's a moment in there where you see me holding the water bottle about crotch height, and I squish it and flip off the top, and it just squirts everywhere. That was my moment. Thank you, world. Thank you. Improv. Have been so you there. guys, you ask, you receive. Um, I you know okay before we get anything else. There are three things I want to tell you. Yeah. One, again, you're just too good looking. It's crazy. Ah, uh, stop. It's too no, crazy. you are. Thank you. Get out of here. He said it. He said it live. Go on. I was kidding. Secondly, you, have, you give great hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do my best. No, you do. I mean, every picture I see, like, you, you have great hair. Thank you. Like, because nowadays people either have, like, shaved head like me, or it's really short, or it's uh, super long, but yeah. you give good, like, you give good bangs and everything. Come on, stop. Keep going. Just a little bit. And number three, you have the name. Ooh. Pearson Fode is a great name. Oh, amen. Come you on. Be, you have to be an actor. I had nothing to do with that, by the way. That was all my parents. <laughs> so that so is I, your birth name. Thank you. Thank you, parents, for that. That's yeah. your birth name. That's that is you... actual birth name, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Even though I saw somebody the other day pronounce you as Fode. Uh, TMZ, by that the way. Was, that was no, that. it was is Foyd. 
I'm like, where did you get the I and the Y and the... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I was yeah. like, even though it was about you being shirtless in a backpack. Hey, that was fine. Um, you but got on TMZ. That's crazy. People are talking. That's all we care I, about. I, that's right, hey. kids. But I saw it. I was like, he's on TMZ to pronounce his name wrong. <laughs> and you know what's funny? They've, I've actually been on there before. Oh, okay. And they pronounce it right. Who, who, who's, the new, who's the new person in there? Yeah, Have them fired. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have them removed. Harvey Levin. Come on, You heard Harvey. it here first. Yeah. So, yeah. So, now, okay. We're going to talk about the Emmy thing first. But first, we're going to play a little, a little video you put up that is just mm. really good All right. about what you found out. <laughs> Gotta get to the Emmys. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. 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 This, is, this is just ridiculous. Coming for you, LA. <laughs> like, I fun. love that video. It was fun. That was very cool. Yeah, I, I, we actually filmed a second part to it, but oh. we haven't posted it yet. Oh, okay. Because okay. I went to Coachella and I was like, yeah. oh, now we have to film a third part to this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So no, We're just going to do it great. all the way up to the Emmys. Oh, how cool. Yeah. You yeah. got a lot of hits off of that, actually. Yeah, it was kind of fun, right? <laughs> no, it was like a lot of fun. Yeah. I was like, that is so funny. So, actually, how did you, when you found, where were you? How did you find out that you were Emmy nominated? So, cool story. I was on top of a volcano in Hawaii. The, I guess it's the most active volcano okay. in the world. Oh, wow. um, and I get a call from uh, Bold and Beautiful, and they were like, hey, uh, congrats. And I was like, I've, uh, what did I do? And they're like, you, you got nominated for an Emmy. And I was like, oh, awesome. Cool. What do I do? What, who, what do I say? Thank you. Um, and they were just like, yeah, this is super fun. We're going to have interviews lined up for you, this and that. And then, um, yeah, it just kind of snowballed. I looked over at my, uh, my buddy, and I was just like, hey, I just got nominated for an Emmy. He's like, awesome. And then we sacrificed a bunch of people into the volcano. Oh, perfect. Okay, just okay. to oh. make it work. To make it secure your, secure your win. Yeah, no, course. exactly. You know, you sacrifice a few Volcano people. gods, they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> Someone's like, um, he is literally too much to say about you right now. They love Thank it. You. They're smiley face. Yeah, they I've love been, it. I've been here all week. That's is that you true. did a poll on Twitter too recently? I did. Uh, <laughs> growing my hair out or cutting it. So I say grow it out. That's that's the you know what's funny is the poll was super tight knit. Everybody oh, was wow. like short cut. Okay. Was, I think it was fifty percent at the end oh, of the wow. day. But uh some close friends of mine were like, just grow it out. Just grow it out. And we'll see what Bold and Beautiful says when I'm like growing it out and they're like, <laughs> What are you doing? And I'm like, Shh, don't tell anybody we'll I'm see. growing it out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but so now you get me of course you know what the Demi Emmys are, I mean you know what they are and stuff, but do you get that I mean first year on a show to be recognized that's a big deal that's awesome yeah it's 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 your peers humbling and exciting and uh it's a confidence booster you know it, yeah. it, it feels like i'm going on the right track um you know i haven't even been on like i filmed that episode that i got nominated for like five months in wow yeah and i haven't even hit my year mark yet yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. it's a cool feeling that's good you know that's good because what beautiful is and we talk about you're on a plane what you is an international soap I was trying to tell people mm -hmm. the other day because I, I had Eric Braden on the other day yeah. for uh, like a Restless, and now these these two soaps are sold overseas. Yeah, as nighttime soaps. Yep. So you get you can be recognized all over the world. It's crazy. Um, I I think it airs in over a hundred countries throughout the world, and I'm getting like fans from all over the place just I'm like sure. writing me, and I I'm doing Twitter translator all the time. Oh yeah. Trying like respond <laughs> yes, to them. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing. And apparently, we're like the Beatles in Italy. I, yeah, I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh cool. <laughs> Here I come, Italy. <laughs> yeah. Gonna get some free stuff out of that. Yeah. I hope. Well, get wine, pasta. God, oh, so much food. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. I'm on Bold and Beautiful. Do you have pizza? <laughs> Lots of pizza. Why aren't you doing comedy? More comedy. You are. I mean, online. You're, I follow you on. You're hilarious. Thank you. Uh, you know, I, it just hasn't really presented itself as much. Folks, I just watch this interview. Come on, boom, dropping hot beats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are. You're hilarious. You're you're funny. You're silly, and you're fun. And I guess Thank that's, you. I mean, if you do a regular soap, which of course is very melodramatic. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. I mean, Thomas Forrester is like you know trying to make secure his rights in the family uh, and, and his woman, his father, all the women. Yeah, just, just doing his thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a fun transition as far as like going from my my real personality, which is kind of like strange and weird. Yes. I'm a pretty weird person. Oh, I like that. That's uh, good. But then uh, to very like kind of being like sexy and doing all yeah, that, like, all dramatic stuff. and the the slow. Hi, <laughs> Thomas Forrester. Hi, good to meet you. Oh my God, you have it down. Thank you. Thank you. 
and do oh, do the, do the stare. There's always there's always that stare before you go to break. Oh, oh, this one. Uh, this, uh, do, uh, do it. Do I have it in my nose? There's something in my teeth, isn't there? <laughs> yes, this is yes, awful. Yes. Now, here's something that is really serious. How are you doing with the pacing? Because I mean, it's I mean, it's like people people out there who don't know. Sometimes you film what seven or eight episodes in a week or something. I mean, like something yeah. crazy like that. So normal TV shows shoot one episode a week. Yeah. Uh, daytime, bold and beautiful shoots eight episodes in four days, and wow. they are. 45 to 55 page episodes. Oh my god. So I'm memorizing between 20 and 60 pages a night. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty wild. Um I pretty much tell my friends during the week I'm like I don't want to talk to you guys. Oh, I don't want to sure. hang out. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> uh but yeah, I've it's funny the first day I was totally overwhelmed. Um because I showed up and I had memorized the first episode and I was like, "Oh, we're shooting one episode today." Yeah. And Little did I realize they have these things called rundowns, which I'm used to a, a call sheet, and mm -hmm. it's completely different. It was like foreign yeah. language to me. Yeah. And uh, we were shooting two episodes that day. Wow. And I'd only read the other episode. Oh, no. I didn't memorize it. So we're, we're like blocking the episode, and I'm like, oh, what do I do? What oh, do I do? And I just like, I kept super cool about it, okay. and then like kind of walked up to the showrunner, and I was like, hey, Ed, um, I didn't memorize this script, so it could be a shit show. <laughs> yeah, but I, he was like, "Oh, just, uh, uh, just go do it. Go do it right now." And I like, I had one hour to get from like, because I started shooting right away the first episode, yes. and then I had a uh, forty-five minute break between, and so I ran to my room and I memorized the next episode, and it flawless. Wow! I was like, yes. I got this. <laughs> It's gonna be a great time in my life. You are a professional. Oh man! I mean, it's because it really is. I mean, there is like the old days used to have like you know four or five rehearsals, and now literally it's like right. just blocking one to two takes. You got it. God. Yeah, that's good for your your um, your muscle. That muscle yeah. up there is good for you. Oh, absolutely. So I'm yeah. sure other projects you're like, I can do this. It's so funny. Uh, like before, I remember like getting ten, ten page auditions from my agents oh, and stuff, like, and I was like, Oh no, I don't know how I'm gonna memorize this in like four <laughs> days. This is gonna be so hard. <laughs> And then, like, now it's just like I look at it maybe twice, three times, yeah, and I'm like, man, yeah. man, it's fine. Because <laughs> I took, just tell people, people just to stop looking at self actors like they're, like they're just like stepchildren or something. They, yeah. it's a really hard work. It's easily the hardest work I've ever done as far as film goes. Yeah. Um, and I've done some pretty interesting roles, I feel yeah. like, and like uh, fairly diverse. I've tried, done HBO and indie mm -hmm. film and uh, uh, sitcom and like, it, yeah. This is easily the hardest I've ever done because you're trying to make it believable and you're cranking out 60 pages a day, well, uh, per person. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's unreal. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's like, I always compare it to, soap is kind of like what theater is in the UK mm, okay. for the US. You know, okay, we, yeah. I mean, it created George Clooney and Julia right. Roberts, Brad yeah. Pitt, and yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. so many of these actors that have come out of soaps mm -hmm. and that, that sort of That's true. frame. Yeah, Julianne Moore, Julianne Asriel, turn me people, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. Morgan Freeman was on soap. God, he's got a great voice too. He's like, he's like, he could play God and the president every single episode, every single show he does. He, he just, just it works. You're like, yeah, I, I believe, believe it. I believe everything yeah. you say. <laughs> yes. It's just such a soothing voice, and you're like, hello, I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You could talk about carpet shavings, and I'd oh, be interested. Oh, easily. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. Like him as Samuel L. Jackson, I'm like, those two I can listen to talk about, like, you know, the phone, the cup, just like anything. Yeah, I'm absolutely. In. I'm done. In. Consider it done. Yeah, yeah done. In, yeah. in, in. And Idris Silva. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Who three of them in a room, oh, I might God. implode. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Their voices are so good. Jeez. Daquan says, if you don't want that jacket, he'll take it off your hands. Oh, hold on here. Okay, Jay Claude. He's looking, he's looking. No, I'm just kidding. I keep that. That's a lot. I'm gonna keep this. I like this jacket actually. <laughs> a nice jacket. Okay, so we're gonna talk more about Bone Beaver a little later, of course. But I want to talk about a few other things that you've done. And uh, one of the things you did was uh, Naomi and Eli's No uh, Kiss List, yeah. which people were talking about before they knew I was gonna do this. So I, I've seen it and everything, so I, mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about it because one thing I think you guys touched upon, which is very relevant, relevant. Mm -hmm. That was a movie. We do words on this show. Yeah, we do. I make up words sometimes, actually. I, I like it. I say uniform. Kind of like Shakespeare day. in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. We're, we're making things happen. Yeah. Uh, relevant. Yeah. <laughs> like live television. Um, the gay man straker relationship is very, yeah. very confusing. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
It is, but it's, I, it's, it happens. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I always say that every every straight one should have a gay male friend. Absolutely. And vice versa. Done. And so you did a movie that was kind of complicated. And I like the way you guys kind of walked the line, because it, it could have been where you guys could have been totally unlikable. Yeah. So explain to folks what the premise of the movie was if they didn't see it. Uh, it. It's essentially about a girl and her gay best friend growing up in New York City, and she has this unrequited love uh, for me. I play the gay best friend. I play yeah. Eli, and um, Victoria Justice plays uh, Naomi. Yeah. And uh, it's about dealing with uh, the repercussions of that and trying to grow up and move on with your life as things get complicated. Um, and then trying to, you know, create new friendships and not being selfish and figuring out what the different kinds of love are that we can have for yes. each other. Yes. So. Yeah, but it's there's some stuff that happens in this film. You guys mm. need to watch it. Mm. That it goes mm. on some turns. <sighs> You could say that. That are crazy. Go on. Uh, crazy. Go on. But for you, what did you learn about yourself playing that role, playing a gay character, playing that type of gay character, playing that role? I think the first thing was, uh, guys, always shave if you're about to make out with somebody, please. <laughs> There yeah. it goes. Right chicken, chicken, I just had chicken, the worst like road rash on my face one time. <laughs> this dude had not shaved, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this is so painful." Now, anytime a girl is like, "Can you please shave?" I'm like, "Yeah, of you, get yeah no, you get it. Yeah, you're done. You got Easy. it. Easy." Uh, but yeah, I think uh, the, the realistically, right. the, the, the actual funny, things yeah, I've, yeah. I've learned, um, I think, is just kind of. Uh, Again, learning to, to balance uh, relationships um, mm. and, and being careful not to cross lines and um, mm. uh, create healthy boundaries, you Ooh, know? And great. that was, uh, you know, it was fun because I got to interview two of my mentors who are both gay here in Hollywood and like, they're just the coolest people in my life. Mm. And they're super encouraging. And I, I sat down and I, I interviewed both of them for kind of Eli's backstory. Okay. I took pieces of their okay. life because the book doesn't really have a oh, whole lot. Okay. So I just kind of filled in the gaps. And uh, they just gave me so much insight on what it was like. And one of them's, uh, he's 75 years old. So he grew up in a completely wow, different time. Yeah. And being gay back then was yeah. super different. So I got the history of it. Yeah. And another one's uh, like, I think he's about 40. Um, and then I, I had another friends that I kind of like pulled yeah, from like yeah. kids my age. Yeah. So I got like a full spectrum of oh, wow. uh, learning what it was to be like back then to today. Yeah, yeah. So. I think you did a good job. Thank you. Very I, think much. I think you did a really good job in that one. It's just, there was a very interesting role for you to do. Um, that was just stepped out of like other roles people would see you in because you like this yeah. leading man look. Oh, thank you. And you were yeah. you were a leading man in this film, but a different mm -hmm. kind of leading man. Which totally. I think we need more of that. In yeah, Hollywood. absolutely. I think yeah, you, you want to be as different as possible every time right. you're kind of seen on screen, right? Right. And I, I totally, he, I, I tried to make Eli what I would be if I was gay. How fun! You know what I okay. mean? Like I was just like, here's what I would look like and dress like and and mm. feel like if I was gay. You know, and that, that, yeah. I wanted to be like, yeah, it was just, it was fun. That's a great, that's a great idea, actually, of putting, of, of putting it that way, because, I mean, men are men. Yeah. Whoever we sleep with is just a whole other, just another byproduct, but there are mm. a lot of men, a lot of gay men who you can, we wouldn't even look at and think that we're gay, or straight yeah. men you would totally. think. I mean, it's, like it's a whole just like, who are you? That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, it, it doesn't identify us. Right. It, it's right. just like, this is, this is just a piece of my life, yeah. you know? But I know folks would probably think, well, these two characters would be, like, straight, yeah, together, totally. And that's, that's why I love the twist. Totally, absolutely. I love the twist because you kind of felt a little bit in the in the yeah. whole movie. You're like, maybe they're gonna get together. Yes, I don't know. We we definitely played on but that. that but that was kind of. I think it's conditioning. Yeah, absolutely. We're all thinking, well, these two should be together. Right? I mean, maybe right. he'll turn out to be. You know, like, no, that's conditioning. Because mm -hmm. that's the real. I mean, in real life, we think the same thing, right? Very true. You know, but good job on that one. That was a really good one. Um, and it also. Uh, like you said, you were on Jesse for a reoccurring. Yes. So what was it like playing on a Disney? kind of set in a hall. How what was that whole experience like? Uh, it was it really, it was a big learning experience for me because I'd never done, well, I'd done like one episode of uh, like iCarly way back oh, in yeah, the day, I and, but I only had like four or five lines. Um, <laughs> but, love iCarly. Yeah. Uh, but Jesse was really a big learning experience because it, they, they're, it's super structured. Oh, wow. There's no room for improv. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and it's very like this is what we're doing. You get time to improv, kind of in the rehearsals, and kind of okay. throw out some ideas here and there. But it's like there's a one-two punch to it every time. It's very Shakespearean, uh, classical. Yeah, one-two punch, one-two punch, one-two three punch. Um, yeah. And then um, on top of that, like every word is important, even down to an and or a but. They're like wow. no and. This one's a but. The, or like the two or wow. a, you know it's just simple things like that. They're like nope, go back and redo it. Wow. Yeah, it's impressive. I wonder if this is for kids mainly or tweens. I guess mm. it must be really 
because you have to make it really simple. Like, I mean, it's a different kind of joke telling, yeah. different kind of comedy than Absolutely. adult comedy, right? Well, it's it's interesting because they throw adult jokes in there that are meant to go yeah, over the course. kids' heads, so that yeah. way adults can watch it too. Watch it too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, very. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. To say and how least. are the kids? Because there's a bunch of kids on that show. Yeah, they're great. Oh, yeah. They're I'm super sure. fun. Professionals, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, the total little <laughs> champs. They're just like, yeah. they, they're on their, their stuff, you know? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Because, I mean, because I, mean, I know, because you didn't start till you were adults or yeah. were kind of teen. When did you start? I mean, like, professionally, I, yeah. I moved out here five years ago. Okay. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'd, I'd done, like, random films with my friends growing yeah, yeah. up and, yeah. like, you know. Just... But can you imagine them? I mean, like, them being seven, eight, nine years old? Oh, yeah. It's wild. With the training, with the singing, the dancing, the, I mean. If I would have had that growing up, man, yeah, I, I, would be, I would be fabulous. <laughs> You're already fabulous now. Come on, stop. That. You're already that already. Um, let's see. Uh, I knew, they're, they're mentioning, oh, they're, they're mentioning Jesse. Uh-huh. And I said that Debbie mm-hmm. and Cameron came to their school two weeks ago. Does that mean anything? I don't know what that is. Huh. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Now, they're also asking uh, storytellers. Yes. Uh, uh, will you be back for a second part of Storytellers? Yeah. I mean, if they ever decide to reboot the second season. Okay. Because uh, we were talking about that like two or three years ago. Right. And okay. nothing's happened. Okay. So if, if they if they actually do it, then yeah, I'm absolutely going to come back. Because that was fun. Yeah. He's in. He's in. Yeah. What did you learn from that experience? Uh, there was a couple things. Um, mainly to just... <sighs> It was such a. It was a different kind of experience because it was a, it was a web series, but it wasn't like it wasn't huge budget. It was more of a small yeah. budget web series, and uh, just learning to kind of like watch myself as an actor a little bit more, mm-hmm. uh, because there were some moments where like, you know, the team was trying to figure out things as we went, and uh, mm-hmm. I was just like kind of flying by the seat of my pants and like, hey, if this is where you want me to go with this, fine, no, totally. Yeah. But really, I should have been like, no, 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 this is where we're going to go oh, with this character. Uh, yeah, so it was just kind of things like that, but yeah. it, was, it was super fun. Everybody was a big family on set, and like we were all friends and goofed around. It's a lot of pranksters. So, yeah. <laughs> Love pranks. Oh, yeah, all the time. But you know, it's, I mean, because you don't understand, if you don't know this out there, when you're working on a set, uh, sometimes there's a lot of wait time, hurry up and wait, they call it, a lot yeah. of wait time, yep. or you're working long hours, mm-hmm. or you're getting called in really early, so you kind yeah. of have to joke around, let Absolutely. loose, kind of let the steam out of it, right? Make as many fart jokes as you can during the day. <laughs> yeah. Are those the winners, the fart jokes? They are, every time, it's just a, <laughs> oh, excuse me. And it works, comedy yeah. gold. And they're like, and people laugh every time, <laughs> they're all children, everybody is a child. <laughs> I'm telling you, a bunch of okay. children running around here acting like adults. Well, that, actually, that part's true in many yeah, ways, right? Yeah. So we're going to show a little tiny snippet of just people who, who don't have not watched *Bold and the Beautiful* hmm. of Tom of Thomas Forrester with his sister Stephanie. <laughs> we're going to talk about Jacqueline and everything. Love so Jackie. we're going to just show like a, it's a few seconds of this. Happy dad's back. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Took I mean, the year. it's great. Oh, I know she was really nervous about having the kid without him. Dad wouldn't let that happen. He'd get back to her right away. Uh, he was out of town. She had a scare. You know. It, uh, False labor, what is that? Contractions? Uh, Braxton Hicks? Yes, that's one. I was there. The sets are so the gorgeous. They are. Humble and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, the way it's shot, the production value is so well done. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you're just talking to Jacqueline McGinnis Wood, of course. Mm-hmm. How's her playing your sister? She can't play your love and she's your sister. Yeah, it's funny because uh, she's hot. Yeah, she is hot. She's a total <laughs> like, babe. Yeah. Like, um, but no, it's 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 funny because everybody's like, oh, who's this new Pearson Fode guy? Is, is she in? Or is he? He? She? She? God, <laughs> I'm transitioning. Yeah, you're transitioning. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, but yeah, the Someday. hair, growing hair out. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, he. Again, he. I. <laughs> Speaking about myself in the third See, person. Usually interviewers do that. You do it to yourself. <laughs> I'm not even doing it. You do it to yourself. I'm on it today. Yes, no, you are. Uh, but yeah, they were like, oh, are they, uh, he and Jackie going to have a, uh, a love interest? And what's going to go on here? And we always make jokes about it on set. We're like, ah, oh, so, you know, candy's dandy, but uh, incest is best, right? <laughs> And she's yeah. like, uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. And fart joke. Yeah, huh? and fart joke. There you go. And then she laughs. Yeah. And she said, yeah. but you get to, I mean, you get to, I mean, it's such a it's such a gorgeous cast anyway. Oh yeah. I mean veterans and young people. Oh, I, mean, yeah. just, I mean the whole cast is just great and it seems to be your sister. So I mean, how does it feel coming into this? Because you're also your recast. Yeah. Obviously, mm-hmm. and but you're also coming to this big family on the show, the Foresters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like one of the main families of the yeah. show. But that's 29 years. Yeah. So how's how's that been for you? This last 
a year or so, nine, how long have you been on there? A year? Yeah. You made a year yet? Coming on a year in yeah. July. Yeah. yeah, it's coming up. Uh, it's, it's super interesting uh, jumping into a, a cast that's already been kind of like established mm -hmm. and like a lot of them are recast at this point as well. It's yeah, yes, kind of there are. Yeah. Entertaining. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're jumping into a, a lineage of people mm -hmm. and trying to play something that's that's truthful to the character and the life and that somebody mm -hmm. before you has played it. Um, I actually never watched a single episode of Adam Gregory or, um, okay. oh, why can't I remember his I name? I know, oh, God. He, my manager used to rep him as well. <laughs> I know, I I'm a terrible too. person. I've got his name I, too. I, you're a nice guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, but the other Thomas, Thomas. Forrester is before yeah. me, and yeah. just because I didn't want to do a mimicry of them. Good. Uh, yeah. What I went in and did is I read all about them online, and I, I interviewed okay. like the, the writers and everybody, and I just yeah. wanted the truth of who he was as a person yeah. to like come out as my own representation. Who'd you test with? Lindsay. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, fun. We instantly became best friends. Aww. Yeah, it was just like we locked eyes and we're like, we're going to be best friends. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, her character is with your father. I mean, that's a whole other story. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of crazy. That's, that's always confusing, very soapy, right? Very Being in love and with the baby woman. might be yours uh, or whatever. Who so, knows? I mean, who knows, I mean, right? Yeah, it's totally mine. But I know it's like it's classic, yours. Classic. <laughs> um, <laughs> so did you, did you test for any other roles on the show or was, did you come in for... Thomas, do you know or no? Well, I mean, uh, I've auditioned for them before. Oh, you have, okay. Uh, and I tested for. I think it was. Uh, it was going to be like a son of Deacons back in the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, but they never ended up picking up that storyline. Uh, and then, like a year later, I came in and tested for Thomas. Oh, uh, and and it was just instantly we Lindsay and I kind of knew. Oh yeah. It was just like she emailed everybody <laughs> and was like, "It's Pearson. We're going with this." And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> nailed it." Nailed it. Um, uh, that's great. Yeah, it was super fun. Oh, my God. Torsten K. Great actor. Fantastic Amazing. actor. Amazing. I mean, a uh, you know, legend. He's yeah. a big time legend. He's, uh, he's one of the best actors I've ever worked with, mm -hmm. hands down. Um, and I just, you know, at first we, we kind of butted heads a little bit when yeah. we first met each other. It was just kind of like I was the new kid on the block and he wanted to test the grit, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Make sure I was worth my spit. Yes. Um, yeah. But, uh, he, I, I forced my way into his life because I okay. wanted to learn from him. Okay. Uh, because he's just such a he's such a solid actor. I mean, he was trained uh, in Shakespeare and theater over in the UK, yeah. and so now like I get to sit down and work with him, and along with like my coach and everybody else. But yeah, yeah it's fun to work with him. He's a guy I've known because I've followed him a long time from all my children. Well, I have to let me. He's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. He's a guy. There's one of the few guys on daytime dramas that very masculine. Yeah. Like just not saying that everybody's right, but he's like he's just very a masculine guy. Yeah. Who can be sensitive too. Totally. But like he's a total leading man. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. when I said he's gonna when he said he's gonna recast to be Ridge yeah. after Ron Moss played him for so long, I was like, that's an interesting choice and it works. Yeah, it totally works. He's he's a great actor. It totally so. works. So you, do you like Thomas Forrester? I love Thomas Forrester. He's 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 confused all the time. <laughs> Super conflicted. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like he is. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um no, I think you have to love the character that you're playing. So you do? Okay, you feel that way? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you have to, or you at least have to find pieces of them that you're okay. in love with. Okay. So you can be relatable and not judging them while you're playing Ooh, yeah, the character. Right. So all the characters you kind of played up to this point, have you, have you liked them or mostly liked them? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, I try to find pieces of them that are similar to me that where I can kind of like relate and empathize mm. with what they're going through. Um, but yeah, I, I try to like them all. So can you empathize with Thomas these days? Totally can. Oh my God. I, I mean, I personally don't have a baby that I know of. That would be really confusing. Um, but no, I think it's, uh, I think the thing that I really relate with him is, is, you know, we all have in one area or another an unrequited love, kind of like, yeah, I mean, he likes no kiss list, but, yeah. uh, but he has it with his father. Yes. And I think that's really tough. I, my dad's my hero and like, we're, oh, we're totally close, good. but with him, I, I just feel for him in this this deep way. I'm like, yeah. I, I want you to get your father's respect and yeah. like your his approval, but at the same time, he's he's being a bit of a dick. Yeah, he is. You he know. Is. Yeah. And so it's 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 tough because he's he's in this catch twenty two because he's playing the balance of like, I have to stand up for myself while at the same time I have to, I'm trying to get my father's love, mm -hmm. and that's that's a tough place to be. It's very universal too. Yeah, very much. Um, on that show too, you have a lot of men. Yeah. So, like, I mean, there's also Jacob Young. Mm -hmm. He's Rick. I love Jacob. Uh, almost, I would say he's, he's also a great song and dance. Man. He's, like, mm -hmm. he's good, all kind of stuff like that, too. Yeah. Um, then you also have John McCook, the patriarch of it all. 
God, what a man dime. Tell us. Tell us. That tell us about John McCook. He's just, he is classic <laughs> Hollywood, yeah, man. Yeah. He, I mean, he was like the last contract signed over at WB back in the day. Yeah. He's telling me stories about he's playing piano for the Rat Pack, and then JFK gets off of his private, you know, helicopter <laughs> and walks up on the lawn. I'm like, this guy is a legend. Yeah, yeah. He is the legend of Hollywood. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah. I always hear only only good things from him. Yeah. Only good things from yeah. him. Uh, so I want to know, Carolyn, I want to know, mm -hmm. what about Thomas is similar to Pearson? Um, besides how you look. Besides how I look. <laughs> besides how you look. That's, that's a good point. I didn't think about that one. <laughs> he looks so much alike. It's crazy. It's weird, yeah, right? Weird. I think it's weird. Very little transformation happened on you, that. You talk to one of you about that. Yeah, yeah. make me ugly or something. <laughs> um, I think the, the big thing about Thomas that I relate with is... Um, or similar to is kind of our sarcastic, dickish sense of humor um, in a lot of ways. And also the playfulness inside of that, especially yeah. with like Lindsay's character, we get yeah. to be really playful and yeah. same with uh, Jackie and I. Yes, you guys do too. Yes. Um, so we're just very like quick and witty yeah. and yeah. doing, being goofy, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's kind of fun. Makes yeah. the world, makes the day go by fast and make the world go around. Definitely. I mean, I mean goofy's fine. It's it's a, good. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah. we're going to do a little word association. Uh, black, blue, yellow, <laughs> pink. Ready, go. Up, down. Up, yes. down, right, left. Dog, cat, yeah. Okay, so you're just going to tell me what the first thing, and I'm almost scared. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing that comes to mind when I mention these things to you. Go, go I'm already laughing already. I'm like... I'm going to make it super sexual. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's okay, perfect. Good, good. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Pen penis. <laughs> okay. Hair products. Penis. <laughs> no? <laughs> Shoot. Son of a gun. I'm gonna get. Uh, try me again. Try me again. Okay. Try me again. I'm ready. Okay. Hair products. Penis. <laughs> did I do it right? You did it perfect. Okay. Good. 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 And right. we're done. No. Good. Um, the ocean. Uh, respect. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Modeling. That was it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I said, we can talk after, we'll talk after the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, mornings on the farm. Love it. Cheesecake. <sighs> I, know you love, I know you love cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. I know you do. It's so good. It's delightful. That's why I'd ask you, because I know you love cheesecake. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I could eat cheesecake all day. <laughs> do you have a favorite cheesecake type Just of cheesecake? Classic. Oh, cl oh. Just classic. Wow. Don't interrupt the flow of the cheesecake. <laughs> You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Evenings in LA, rowdy, yeah. Parkour, freedom, the fans, amazing. Good. 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 The ocean one kept people. People are saying I have a whole new respect for Pearson. Pearson. Well, what character would you like to see Thomas get back together with? Someone's asking. Is there anybody that's dead? Ooh. Yeah. Confusing, right? That'd be interesting. I'm thinking of a homegirl who died. Oh, okay. But she's my cousin. Oh, she's your cousin. That's yeah, right. I can't do that. That's That'd be Allie. weird. Be well, they yeah. just second cousin. Bring, on one bring show. somebody back from the dead and do like okay. a, you know, what is, what is the guy out of the Bible's name? Uh, not Saul, Solomon. <laughs> who am I? Fans, help us out. I was like, I'm telling, I'm telling, uh, like Lazarus. Lazarus. Boom. Oh, yeah. There you Lazarus, go. them. But you have a bunch of pretty girls in that show, so. Yeah. Maybe. Um, so wants to know, do you talk to um, Matthew Didario. Didario that's now on Shadowhunters? Yeah, he's an awesome guy. We do a, a show here, a show, a Shadowhunters after show here. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if he's been in or not. I don't know if he's been in. He's awesome. Total yeah. sweetheart. Um, yeah. I always run into him whenever I'm in New York without even planning it. Like, we, oh, we, we're signed with the same agency, so okay. I'll like show up there and he's like just oh. sitting there. <laughs> like, What's up, Matthew? You're looking hot today. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um... But yeah, he's a super, super yeah. sweet guy. Uh, we had a blast filming No Kiss List together. And uh, yeah, awesome guy. How's it like New York? I think it was your first time there, wasn't it? Were yeah. Oh, it's my a, magic city, so I love New York. What a cool way to experience New York for the first time. Yeah. You know, just a uh, super magical city on top of the fact being on a film set and like getting to explore that way and being the character. Mm -hmm. And oh, it was just great. It was awesome. Yeah. New York's just so, so great. Did you have any pizza while you were in New York? Oh. You asked that like it's a question. Okay, got it. Just yeah. make sure. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they want to know what you guess, what you consider guest starring on Shadow Hunters. Shadow Hunters. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm I'm friends with Cat McNamara and Dom and uh, all the, all the crew. So yeah. He'll do it. He'll yeah. do it, folks. He'll do it. Fun. He'll do it. Oh, they want to ask. Oh my, how funny. Okay, my family's in Brooklyn, so mm -hmm. I know all about Junior's Cheesecake. Have you had Junior's Cheesecake when you were in New York? No. 
Oh, you have it? No. You can actually have flown out. You can actually have flown out. I'm going to have it flown out. He has soon. you guys. He hasn't had it. That's the, it's Come on, seriously, G- Junior, send me that stuff. Come on, Juniors. It is like it is seriously some of the best cheesecake I've ever had mm-hmm. in my entire life. They're known for their cheesecake. Yeah. Um, P. Diddy had his um, intern hopefuls walk across the Brooklyn Bridge on his reality show years ago to get him some Juniors. No way. It was, it was hilarious. Good for him. It was hilarious. Well it's like, played, Walk P. over there. No, don't, take a, don't take a cab. Walk yeah. over there. Yeah. And Juniors is worth walking to. Oh, God. It's great. So he hasn't had it, you guys, but he'll have it one day. Soon. Very soon. You guys do. I was supposed to know <laughs> if you could throw cold spaghetti at anyone of your choice, who would it be? <laughs> cold spaghetti. Um, I don't know. I guess I want to see what it looks like in Trump's hair. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. I like that. Good answer. I want to see if it blends in or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait a minute. So, okay, we talk about this funny stuff and everything, but homeboy over here is actually really smart. You went to high school and you caught at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, I did. How, did. how did that happen? Uh, so we have a program up in Washington. If your GPA is high enough, okay. um, you can sign up for uh, what's called the Running Start program. Okay. And um, so you, my junior year of high school, I started uh, my first year of college. And all those credits counted towards my high school as well. And I, I, I'm just bored of high school. I found it really yeah. unentertaining. And um, so I did high school and college at the same time. It was great. Wow. I graduated high, two different high schools and college at the same time. Uh, and I was like on so many sports teams and yeah. all that stuff, yeah. What did you play sports did you play? <sighs> all of them. You did? Do you like yeah. them all? You like basketball, yeah. football, yeah. baseball? All um, kind of stuff? I, soccer was my soccer. main sport. That soccer. was the main one that I did. Uh, but also, I mean, I did basketball my senior year. Yeah. I did uh, swim and dive. Um, I, I did baseball. And, yeah. yeah. The, only, the only one I didn't get to do because it was at the same time soccer was, was football. Oh, I, I was football. super bummed about that. Oh, but I was like, I'm not giving up soccer. So, <laughs> eat it. Now, can, can you be tall and play soccer? Absolutely. You can. Yeah. I'm sure your leg span. Oh, is man. Like... <laughs> I could sprint so much faster than those little I'm short sh- guys. I'm sure. You know? And then, like, they try and jump, and I've got a pretty tall vertical I'm as sure. well, on top sure. of the fact that I'm tall. Yes. So it's just like, it's funny. We see some of these pictures, and, it, and my feet are literally where their chest is. Oh, my God. And I'm like, you're tiny, and I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> that power. You know, that power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And of course, you mentioned just briefly you came from a farm. Yeah. In Washington. So, I mean, and you did cattle. Like, I heard some story like you actually sold some cattle to come to LA or something. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, uh, so, I mean, obviously, being a little kid and wanting to get yeah. into the film industry, I had no idea how to do it. I just used course, to go to the right. library, read books, and then when the internet was like popular, yeah. uh, I started um, hopping online and I'd watch all the DVD documentaries that I could. Uh, and then when I was eight, um, my dad gave me what's called a bummer calf. It's when a, a mom rejects uh, one of the twins out of uh, her yeah. litter, I guess. A litter. Not, Who well, says that? Yes. <laughs> Embarrassing. I'm a farmer. I should know better. Uh, but then I, I, his name was Chocolate, and he was my best friend growing up. Chocolate? And then, oh, oh I loved him. Then I sold him, and then I cried and became a vegan for like a week. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, then, uh, then I bought more more calves with that money more yeah. bummer calves and then i raised those and sold those and yeah. raised those and sold those and then i had a i had a herd of about 40 head of cattle oh wow by yeah. the time i left and that was, that was that was my idea for making a savings uh Smart. so i could move out to la and have money to do so yeah so did you give yourself a time period we came to la like i'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a year or two to make it at five years or are we just like i'm coming out here and see what happens it was there was no plan b okay it was just you're gonna do it that was it it's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? If you have plan B, yeah. it's kind of... you got to go balls deep or get out, yeah. you know? I agree. Yeah. I think so. It can be a little scary, right? But yeah, worth it. It, it. it was. And I mean, I've been home, functionally homeless, I like to call it, yeah. uh, where I'm working, but there's no money in my bank account, and I'm <laughs> living on people's couches and in my car. And uh, But then at the same time, you know, it was worth it for those little moments that I'd get on set or I'd do something, and, I, and then finally it's starting to pay off. Yeah. You know, and it's worth the sacrifice and the hustle to get there. You know, so yeah, mm-hmm. that's very cool. You live an American dream. I love that. Thank you. Um, so I want me to ask you <laughs> if you could be any, if you can have any superpower, what would it be? Oh, telekinesis. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, because then I could make myself fly. At the same time, I could just. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's 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 kind of all encompassing. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Thank you. This guy's smart. I've thought about it. Yeah, that's that's actually really smart. I still try. <laughs> like. Huh? It worked. Oh my God. I gotta oh stop it. God. It's going. I gotta oh. stop it. Oh my God. I gotta stop it. Sorry. There we go. I'm good at what I do. Oh my God. Well, it has been a pleasure. 
Ah, I'm totally you. in love with you, so it's been a pleasure. Come on, stop. I'm in love with you. We're going to be best friends. <laughs> you heard that. But, um, but so what are you going to wear to the Emmys? Do you know yet? It's a surprise. It was a surprise, you guys. Yeah, I can't tell He'll probably snap it or tweet it or whatever. Oh, you you'll see will. it. You'll see it. It's so going to be fresh. Are you excited? Just go to just go to ceremony and see all you people. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. I, you know, it's just an honor to be yeah. involved, winning or not. It's, it's super honored to be – I'm super honored to be noticed for what I'm doing there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's, I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm flying out with my parents. Uh, I bought them both oh, tickets good. for it. Yeah, it's not cheap. No, not cheap at all. No, good no, lord. I was no, like, oh, plane tickets have gone you up. You only get this one time, parents. I'm telling you now. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so nice of you, son. Yeah, I'm a great son, so, but yes. one time. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm sending you the best of luck. I'm rooting for you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm rooting for you. But yeah. either way, you're a winner. You're always going to be Emmy nominee, Pierce and Faudet. Yeah. For the rest Nothing of wrong your with that. natural life. I can take it. Yes. We're good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. Now, folks, tell them in there mm. uh, where they can find you on social media. Uh, everything is at Pierce and Faudet. you got Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Periscope. I haven't used Periscope yet. Oh, uh, I love Periscope. I'm yeah, doing a lot more Periscope. But, you know, anything, any of the social media outlets that I'm actually on, it's, it's just my name. And follow him because you never know, he may just suddenly periscope one day. Yeah, <laughs> you better. <laughs> or else. And give him all those hearts. So this is another edition of Spotlight On, and I am James Lott Jr. You can follow me on all the interwebs at James Lott Jr., of course. Boom. And that's it. Done, right? Dropping done. it. <laughs> drop just, the mic. I want to pick this up and drop, drop it. it. Don't do it. Oh, my God, don't <laughs> oh, do it. It's expensive. Oh, don't do it at all. Okay, they'll, fine. they'll fire me. Oh, but anyway, yeah. so thanks for watching, of course, and I will see you next time. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.